Hi, this is Patty Bennett. I am so excited to share some new celebration products with you beginning on February 16th and running through March 31st. We have some new free gifts you can select from. I'm going to be showing you this brochure that has the products in them, but I also have the products here because I was able to order them ahead of time as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I do sell Stampin' Up! products, crafting products. You can purchase them by going to my blog at pattystamps.com or you can go to mystamporder.com and place your orders. And if you have questions, I'm happy to help you. So with your $50 order, this is one of the new items that you can select, and it is a stamp set called Eclectic Expressions. This is also an item with your $50 order, and it is called Springtime Foil Paper. And then over here, we actually have a bundle. So for our $100 order, you would get both the embossing folder and this stamp set. I am going to be showing you the products and lots of samples, but I just wanted to show you the brochure, what it looks like. If you don't have one of these and you want one, you can print it at pattystamps.com or I'm happy to put one in the mail to you, so let me know. Then on the back, Stampin' Up! has put all the rest of the other celebration gifts that we have had that started on January 3rd. So you can see the stamp sets, the ribbon, the thinlet dies, the designer paper, the stamp kit, the memories and more pack, and the cards and envelope pack. So each of those are also an option as your free gift with purchase. So let's just start with this set, the Eclectic Expressions, here it is. You can get it in a wood mount or clear mount. And let me just quickly show you a couple of samples. A couple of samples that I have made using pieces of this stamp set. I used this circle to stamp randomly on my die cut letters. These are the large alphabet letters. And so I just die cut the word love and added some cute little creatures from Bird Banter, and I think it's Let Us Celebrate, I think that little squirrel is from. And then the U actually comes from this Celebrate You Thinlet set. So I just die cut that word out of that set and added it to the card. And then another way I used this Eclectic expression set on this card, I used this little random kind of background confetti around the edge of this, and I inked just the word you to add here. So I added it to this love die cut. Uh, this love die cut and this heart both come from Sunshine Wishes Thinlets. Those are in the annual catalog. And then the headphones and You're Awesome are part of a different celebration set and it's right here called Epic Celebrations. So I kind of combined some different sets. So that's how I used that stamp set. Next up, let's look at this amazing springtime foil paper. This is such an amazing value. You get 12 12 by 12 sheets and look at these amazing patterns. And I think you can see by the shine here that they are foiled and gorgeous. So you have copper flowers, silver stripes, copper polka dots, and then silver and gold leaves. So let's take a little bit of a close-up look at these. Look at how gorgeous. I just, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I'm gonna show you some samples in just a minute. So stay with me while we go through these. So there's the stripes, and these are cute polka dots, or they almost look like bubbles, don't they? and then the leaf pattern. So those are the four patterns, and you get three 12 by 12 sheets of each pattern. So you get 12 12 by 12 sheets. Let's look at some samples. I have several samples to show you featuring the springtime foil paper. Isn't this pretty? I was stamping with my friend Cindy this week, and we saw a sample online by demonstrator Kylie Bertucci in Australia, 
and she had cut out the flowers from this print and put them on top of a circle, just like we did here, and then used the polka dot print in the background. Isn't this gorgeous? I love that idea. And then Cindy came up with this design. Um, well, she was inspired by somebody, but this is the card that she designed. So it has this fun flap, and then this opens as well. So this, again, is this beautiful pattern, and it's colored with the Stampin' Blends markers. And it's really easy to blend and shade on this paper, but it does react quite a bit differently than either Whisper White or any other paper. It's not quite glossy, and it's not quite Whisper White. It's kind of in between. So it it is sort of a different feel when you color on it, but you can see that it does color really nicely. And then we wanted to see if you could stamp on this paper, and I just grabbed this stamp and stamped on it. And what happened was it didn't dry right away, and we smeared, or I smeared it. <laughs> and so then I just decided to sponge some green ink right on top of the smeared leaf, and then I stamped the leaf again. So this was just sort of a happy accident, but it's the striped pattern right here. So that's that one. And it's just, it's garden green ink, garden green ribbon, garden green cardstock. It's a color I haven't used in a while, but we thought that it turned out really pretty. So here's an example using this pattern, just these leaves. So there are silver leaves with little gold leaves and gold dots, and I used it as a background for this stamp, and this is in the Flying Home stamp set in the Occasions catalog. So I used sort of a Calypso coral and yellow and some bright springy colors on that one. Here's another example of using the Stampin' Blends on this paper. So I colored one of the leaves, I was actually, or one of the flowers and leaves, I was going to cut this out, I was going to fussy cut it and use it on a different card, but I actually really liked just singling out that one, and so I just did a top fold card like this and used some of the dot paper here. So I experimented on this one, on the striped paper, I just took my sponge brayer and inked it up with Calypso Cor Coral, and I started rolling over it, and I just let the color fade out so that it's like an ombre look. So that's something you could do if you wanted to alter the paper. I also took my Stampin' Blends, and I just did stripes across that. This one, I colored in all of the flowers on that piece with my Stampin' Blends, and look at that gorgeous copper foiling. I mean, is this just is so pretty. This one I used a regular marker. It doesn't have to be a Stampin' Blends. I used a regular marker, colored in the leaves with Lemon Lime Twist. This one I brayered with um, Bermuda Bay, I believe, I did on this one. And I just happened to have this piece from the uh, Petal Passion Memories and More, I believe. And I laid it on top of there and I thought that was really pretty. So that might be something that you'd think about doing. I'm going to show you these samples in just a minute. I just took sponges and I just sponged color in a rainbow on that one. Then we did find if you let a stamped image dry long enough, it will dry. You might want to use your heat tool, but it will pretty much dry. So again, these are just the patterns. Uh, you saw them in the larger sheets, but they are just wonderful. And I love that you get so many sheets. And then I just wanted to show you what I did with this piece where I used the sponges just to sponge a rainbow of color. I did several different samples using the bubble over bottles and I just added them in different ways. So with the crate, isn't this cute? Just using half of the wood crate with the wood grain paper so it looks like the bottles are coming in a six pack or something in that crate. Cute. And this one, I love this. This is actually a valentine for hubby. So he's um, going to get this one. And I just made it look like the bottles were clinking and, and saying, I love you. Isn't that fun? And I don't know if you can tell on these. If I tell, oh, there. Do you see on the bottles how they're shiny? 
So I learned this from Maria Willis. She's also a demonstrator. And if you stamp them with regular ink first, and then you stamp them with Versamark ink, put clear embossing powder and heat them, then they get shiny and they look like real glass bottles. Isn't that fun? I loved that. Okay, so let's move on to the basket weave bundle. I did want to quickly mention that all of the samples that you are seeing in this video will be on my blog at pattystamps.com within the next week or 10 days or so with more details and links to shopping information. Moving on to our last bundle that is new for celebration in 2018. It is the Blossoming Basket Bundle and you would receive the Blossoming Basket stamp set and the embossing folder. This is very exciting and it is beautiful. So let me show you some samples and ways to use this. So here's the embossing folder and when you emboss it, Here's what it's gonna look like. So this is very vanilla and it's just embossed. And then to enhance that a little bit, I took a sponge and some soft suede ink and very lightly, very lightly, I did some sponging just to enhance. So you can see the difference. See that difference? And then I thought, well, what if we even made it darker? So I took my ink pad and I opened it up and I just streaked the ink pad across and I got some really neat variations of lights and darks and a lot darker color. So there's three ways that you could use this embossing folder. And it makes a great background or you could even just have a sentiment on there and um, you could use these samples as an example. But let's look at a couple of the samples that I have done. So here is one where I actually uh, used a sponge dauber and some Calypso Coral ink. And so I made the background in like a Calypso Coral basket. And then this, I stamped this part of it twice. Let me, if I tilt it, can you kind of see that that's layered? So this part has been raised up with Stampin' Dimensionals and I colored the whole thing with Stampin' Blends, added some natural gold ribbon there, and the little gold heart enamel shape. So here's another one, and this is a great card to try if you don't want to do a lot of watercoloring or shading, or you don't have Stampin' Blends. I took my little sponge dauber, Flirty Flamingo ink, I dabbed it in there, and then I just barely swirled color onto the flowers just to give them a little hint and then I used a smoky slate or no I think it was Sahara sand marker just put a little bit of color on the basket to give it a little dimension and then I used lemon lime twist and pool party just to add a little bit of color super easy very simple not a lot of shading but it just gives such a pretty effect and I cut part of the card off and embossed it and then put it over here. So that's just, again, very simple but a nice way to use those products. And then this card I made at Cindy's house this week. She designed this and we stamped and colored with the, the yellows. So Daffodil Delight Stampin' Blends and a crushed curry layer of a scalloped square die behind there and then the soft suede cardstock and then a little bit of soft suede sponging. So just a, a nice muted, very, very pretty combination and tucked a little piece of doily behind there. I love this. So those are some ideas with the basket weave folder and this beautiful basket set. Hope you enjoyed that. If you need any of these products, please let me know if I can send you a catalog or help you with your online order at mystamporder.com and visit me daily at pattystamps.com for inspiration, crafting ideas, and tips. Thank you. Bye-bye.